everyone, Lady Von Wild here um, with this super cute um, retro makeup look today. Um, I, <laughs> I'm going to wear my makeup like this for the rest of the day, um, but my thought was that if you wanted to be a pinup girl for Halloween, um, you could definitely rock something like this. Um, but I also want to encourage you guys to wear this out, like wear it to class. Um, a date night, oh my god, that would be so cute. <laughs> Definitely is a very sassy, um, different kind of look. Um, I'm just doing the makeup in this tutorial. Um, if you like my hair, definitely comment below or like this video. I guess probably comment um, and let me know if you want me to do a tutorial like this. Um, these are my messy victory rolls. Um, don't take a lot of teasing. Um, and obviously I didn't curl the bottom half of my hair, um, for fancy victory rolls. I guess I would tease a lot more and curl it. Like, this is just my natural curl. So, um, yeah, kind of a messy, uh, pin up -y look, um, which I like. I like it. Uh, I'll probably wear my makeup like this all day and my hair. Um, go grocery shopping and terrorize the people at the grocery store. <laughs> So, I also wanted to show you this sweet top that I made um, with a girlfriend of mine. Um, we bought these huge, like, three triple X, four XL um, white t-shirts for three dollars. And then we dyed them, we ombre dyed them with a rip, rip bottle. Um, it was like five dollars and we split it between the two of us, so it was like super cheap. Um, and then I went ahead and I sewed it into this super cute bow back top. I had seen these on um, a couple stores that sold to like southern girls, like sorority girls, and uh, so I ended up making one myself because I didn't want to spend forty dollars. So here it is, super cute. I like it. It's like it's like a tunic, I guess, more. So yeah, I decided I was going to try it out and myself and it worked it I think it's really cute I think it's like dingy dirty flash dance meets sorority girl um, I don't know let me know what you think I I think it's super cute super cute with leggings um, it'll be wonderful boots when it finally decides to be fall here in Wisconsin I don't know we had a couple of cool days and then all of a sudden it was like no oh, we want it wants to be summer again um, so it's like 70 here I think it's gonna be 80 tomorrow which is October 1st in Wisconsin is, <laughs> it's, un it's unheard of, it's weird, it's weird for us. We want to wear our Uggs now, like, and our winter boots and everything, um, but we can't. I think I'll probably wear flip-flops today. <laughs> yeah, so, um, if you like this makeup, uh, give my video a like here. Um, I'm thinking about possibly doing a sugar skull tutorial, um, half a face retro, half a face sugar skull. That's what I was for Halloween last year, um, which was super fun, um, except for you can't touch your face. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm, a, I'm a face toucher. Ugh, it's so gross. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, you can find me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lady Von Wild, all lowercase, uh, no spaces. Um, and feel free to subscribe, definitely. I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you have a fantastic week uh, since it's the beginning of the week, and a wonderful October. Okay, thanks. Bye, guys. Okay, so you're going to start with a fully primed um, foundation face um, and concealing any oopsies that you've got going on. Um, and then I'm going to take a matte kind of light tan and put it all over my eyelid all the way up to my brow. Um, you can use shimmer if you like. If you have shimmer, use shimmer. Um, I usually go with matte when I go for a retro look because it's just more correct. Uh, <laughs> so then I'm going to change my brush and I'm going to use this smudgy brush and I'm going to take a darker tan. So not the darkest but like a medium tan and I'm going to put that right in the crease. So right where my eyeball meets my brow bone and literally just like um, a windshield wiper go back and forth with that color um, and you can leave it a little less intense or you can make it more intense um, it just kind of shades in your eyeball there <laughs> I'm going ahead and I'm doing that on the other eye too and again this is a matte medium tan 
Um, so yeah, it kind of gives you a little 3D effect there. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and take my angled thin brush and I'm going to use the darkest brown I have on my big palette um, and just smudge it along the top line of my eye, right where my eyelashes are. Um, you are going to cover this with eyeliner, uh, but I think it's nice um, just to get that darker color in there too. So then, um, you can't really see my bangs today, but I'm going to pin them up for you um, and fill in my eyebrows just so that you get the idea of how to fill in your eyebrows for a pin-up look. Um, again, taking that same brush and that darker color, and you're just going to fill them in. Uh, I have one really good eyebrow. This is this eyebrow where it just needs to be added to and just darkened up a little bit. And then my other eyebrow, I don't know, the top part just doesn't grow. It doesn't grow right or as thick, so I'm just filling that in with that dark color. Um, and then even extending my brows out a little bit further um, past where the hair grows on the sides there. Here, I'm going to do it. <laughs> right here. Here we go. Um, just a little bit. Um, but you definitely want a very defined pin up your brow, especially if people are going to be able to see your brows. So putting my crazy bangs back down. I need to trim them. Um, they were getting a little long. Or maybe I'll grow them out. I don't know. I just don't know. It's hard to say. So back to the makeup, uh, you have your dark colors done, so I'm going to take my fluffy brush again, and I'm going to take uh, white, the whitest white on my palette, and I'm going to highlight my under my eyebrow, um, just so that it gives it a little more oomph. And then I'm also going to take that white color and I'm going to put it in the corner of my eye, um, all, all the way over on, just a little bit onto the eyelid. And again, this is also matte, uh, but if you have a shimmer color, feel free to use a shimmer color. So, now that I have that done, I'm going to uh, tight line my eyes with a, just a dark black pencil. Uh, this really makes your eyelashes look much thicker, um, much more pin-up like. I only do the outsides because I think that's the most uh, important part to look really thick when you're doing um, a pin-up look. So then you can either use wet liner. Uh, or gel liner. Um, I'm going to use my purple Rimmel gel liner that I've talked about before um, because gel liner is just easier to put on. It is like, um, it's like sketching. You can do short strokes and get that long effect that you want. So starting in the middle of your eye, you're just going to brush it on and brush it out um, as far past your corner of your eye as you want. And then a little thinner towards the beginning. Uh, the thick part is definitely the end or middle. And then I also bring this down um, to the corners. There you can see towards my cornea. Um, I think it just makes the eye look a little bigger um, and a little more defined. Um, and you can also do this a little thicker. You can do it thinner. It's all based on your comfort level. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, starting in the middle and working my way out into that point, that kind of cat eye pin up -y point, and then filling in the side um, and doing the inner corner of my, like where my cornea is. Um, and if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it because I, <laughs> not everybody's comfortable sticking a brush like directly in their eye. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of see there the pretty little shape. And I'm just going to darken it and thicken it up a little. I love wearing the purple with my burgundy hair color because I just think it looks really super cool. Um, so next, what are we doing next? You can see that purple sh shade. It's really pretty. Kind of a Jessica Rabbit kind of idea. <laughs> so then I'm going to take my... NYX crayon, um, and I'm going to run it along my waterline. And this really opens up your eye, and I smudge it along my waterline. Um, really lightly run it along there, uh, because this is, the NYX crayon just can be really heavy. It makes your eyes really pop. So then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put on some mascara. Um, and after this would be a great time to put on false eyelashes if you're going to wear them, um, because the mascara will kind of bond to your eyelashes. Um, and you can do a couple coats. I usually do one and a half, two coats. Then I'm going to do my bottom lashes. And I don't do a ton of mascara on the bottom lashes when I'm doing retro looks because 
I, I don't know, I just don't like it. I don't think it looks right. So, now that we have our eyes done, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to start with a lip balm. This one is Lipsil. It's just a beeswaxy kind of lip balm. I usually, I have like 10 different lip balms that I use all the time. So then I'm going to take a red lip pencil, and this is just like a cheap red lip crayon, I guess, um, and run it all the way around my lips. And I'm not going to color them in uh, because I want them to pop more. Um, so there's a couple different options you can do for lip color. Uh, this is Pink Pop by Maybelline. It's the Vivid line, and I love wearing pink lips um, with pinup look because it's not as expected, I think. Um, just going ahead and running that along my lips and then rubbing my lips together. And you can see that that red uh, outline really makes my lips, like pushes my lips forward almost. But if you want to go for a more classic pinup look, I will take it off and show you the red lips instead. So again, you're just going to run that red liner all the way around your lips, um, filling in any areas that so that you get the right uh, shape. I, I just follow my own lip shape because I think it's kind of crazy. So I'm going to use my Revlon uh, Red Liqueur lipstick and again just running it along my lips. And then I'm going to rub my lips together. Look at that pout. <laughs> so red. Um, and this is more of a classic pinup girl look. So now to make these lips really pop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a concealer pencil, and I love this hard candy concealer pencil. It came with like my glamour cover-up uh, concealer, and I'm just going to do the corners of my lips and then my cupid's bow. And I'm going to take a concealer brush, and I'm going to just kind of um, blend it out. And having that light color on the corners and at the top there, it really will make your lips pop, um, especially with the red color. Another thing to make your lips pop, I'm going to take my NYX um, in Milk pen and I just color in the middle of my lips. And it does make your, the middle of your lips a little pink, um, but it really catches the light. Um, you can see that kind of really sultry, like the difference between my bottom lip is crazy. <laughs> so my lips are not that big. And then I'm just going to run my Urban Outfitters um, Red Lip Gloss across to finish. Um, and you have this wonderful red pout. Now an optional uh, thing for you to do is to put on a beauty mark. I already have one under my nose, so I'm just taking a brown uh, crayon and filling it in uh, because it got it, you know, a little covered up from the foundation and stuff. And you can put it anywhere. Um, you know, Marilyn Monroe has her classic. Uh, one and then Dita Von Tees wears one up by her eye. Um, but you can literally, if you have, don't have one, just add one. So there is my final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, guys. Bye.